Welcome back to the channel, guys. It has been a minute. I know, I know, it has been a minute. But we are back into another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, in our last playthrough, we snuck into the library past the librarian, and she was tough work, man. She was really, she was really tough work. But we managed to sneak past the librarian and into the secret chambers, where we discovered the book that we needed, and we also. Um, got our invisible cloak so I'm sure that's going to come in handy further on in the game anyway we could do a little bit of stealth missions and all of that you know but now we have to go and see Professor Hecat 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 I don't know let me know if I'm describing it wrong anyway but guys um, if you've bumped into my channel or if you are a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed please make sure you like and subscribe it goes a long way with the algorithm and also helps a small gaming channel like myself be discovered, you know. So I hope you enjoy and let's go. So we are going to the herb herbology class. Ah, looks good. Right, let's get it. Herbology class. You can't go in there. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Garlic. Lenora dear. Oh, here. Oh, no. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Oh, you see. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. I might have to go now, back into a uh, school everyone, uniform. Grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh shit, pull it down. Okay. That's wild. Can you imagine pulling a plant out and you heard that? Or you saw that? I would shit the myself. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get- The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Oh, he's got a little list like mine. Hmm. Right, let's I see what garlic like is place. saying. Well, go on, garlic. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be <coughs> rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. Should be an arsehole. Let's be an arsehole. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. 
Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance okay. my star thistle arrangement. So I'm thistles fancy or roses. I'm thinking I might have to put my um, school uniform back on because I'm looking kind of out of place, right? Properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. So it's ready in nine minutes and fifty-five seconds. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. All right, let's do it. You can inspect it. Okay. All right, let's head there. Revelio. Who did you go up there? Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. How the fuck did Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. I did, didn't oh. I? Oh, thank you. You know, that's what we do. That's what we Sebastian do. I put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Did Here we are. Hecate. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. That's how you Still pronounce her name. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a... Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Let me collect all the other cabbages. All right. So, toss the cabbage. Hold L1. Okay. And then just tap it. Look at that. Oh, wow. They'll chomp from anything they can get their uh, mouths on. It's like a little pit bull, <laughs> isn't it? Mom planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her whole in tatters. Can we pick it back up? Maybe Vicious not. little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Um, I was imagining, I was imagining it already. Sure, but that's just a dummy. Hmm, I suppose they could come in handy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing yeah, wrong could. with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents didn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take Is that time. cabbage still going home? In class. Can we pick it up? Oh, well, that was done. All right, I think we've got everything here. Revelio. Quick little Revelio, see if we can find something. Got something here. All right, let's head back to um, Professor Garlic. The music is uh, wonderful in this game. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves I shall end our lesson here terribly sorry Mr. Clopton I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they I hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered 
Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I bet you are. Don't care, don't care much for plants, honestly. As are my plants offer so much. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Okay. Check. We've passed our herbology class. Oh, we've left a good impression anyway. Only cost me my damned hearing. Let's see how long we got left. Four minutes and fifty seconds. Make anything grow. We must first understand it. Okay. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the green. I think we are. We can do the second one challenge, and we are, and we are going to do that actually. Uh, so let's go to quests, and we have cross ones. Round three. So let's get it. We got a dual battle. Hopefully, I can do better this time than I have done previously. Done no Lucan, well go on. So Sella Hooligan blah. Hello Lucan. <coughs> I'd like to practice with the training W. Should we practice? Let's practice, because last time was an absolute Hello, disaster. I'd like to practice with the training W. So let's practice. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Uh yes, let's go. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right, let's get it. I think I remember what to do. Okay, nice, we got it. Excellent four. It was taking me the longest time to figure that out last time. I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> Good one. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck, fuck, bro. Okay, let's go. I got a bit trigger happy though. Well, I wasn't quick enough. Why was it taking so long? Okay, let's go. Dummy's got a mind of his own, isn't it? All right, all right, let's go. Don't judge me, don't judge me. Let's go. Fucking hell. And this is why I fucked up last time. Okay, come on. There we go. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Look at Lucan just gassing me up, you know. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Wow. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. I was a bit Other insulting. Other duelists had better beware. Man like Lucan, you know. Let's go, though. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Let's go. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Um, shall I do? Let's do Sebastian, because Sebastian proved, um, he proved he was trustworthy on our last mission, so we'll pick Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Let's get started. 
We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Are we taking on four of them? Championship round, let's go. Uh, we don't need no bloody um, tutorials. We got this. Oh shit, I got Levi out. Let's go, fuck him up, fuck him up. No, it's the wrong button, it's the wrong one, motherfucker. I didn't mean to do it to the... Alright, this is a bit mad, so I can't lie. Uh-oh, heal, 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 heal. How'd you heal? How'd you heal down on the D-pad, didn't it? That's not good. to pay attention. Alright, we got him. Pity more people can't watch the duels. I was a bit techy. I was spamming the fucking health button. <laughs> what a victory! I was spamming the health the button. It's an honor. I got lucky. I'm just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just, I'm just getting, getting started. started. Yeah, if the best them. duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. What was that? I don't know that I deserve this. Thank you. It's been an honor. Oh, we're definitely you taking it. it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Talking about herbology plants, I need to get to it as well. If only school was really like that. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. Expelliarmus. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Okay, here we go. We Spell do this. casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Am I saying it right? Probably. Good work. Probably the dummy not. is here if you wish to stay in practice. All right, where's Expelliarmus? The science spell. We will put Expelliarmus on there. All right. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. What did I do? Expelliarmus may save your life one day. The Psalms of one's O oh, of other weapons out of enemies' hands. Different types of enemies will react in different ways when disarmed. Okay. So we brought him up. Expelliarmus. Okay. Still at it, I see. Okay. It's a okay, okay, okay. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion 
might come in handy. Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might. Is he drunk or has he just got a bad leg? Please begin. Okay, so let's craft some potions. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. The pressure. The pressure is on. Now I'm about to mix it up. I'm about to stir it up. There we go. Smelling good. Smelling good, looking good. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. My parents considered okay. keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Um, why do you know what? Yes, but why, does why that do you, to you want to know? Brilliant. Okay, let's go. And it matters because you I can't can be read a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Um, I'll get you. Should we do him a favour? As long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. Let's I assure it. you, he won't. Could come in handy down Foop the line. Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potions. You do him a favour. He might do us a favour down the line. You know. That's a big ass feather, isn't it? I'm sure he's gonna notice that. Your potion should not be that colour, dull. I hear like a little bing. Proficiency it's coming from over. Two things that cannot be rushed. Here somewhere. There we go. Well, let's go to the, the guy, actually. Brilliant. The feather. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the Dibney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Wow. Albright. Eyebrowless. It's not good. We do need the Enduro potion, right?
Right, what do we do now? We just wait? Brewing time, 15 seconds. Do I stir it? I don't stir it, I just leave it. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna keep it on the screen. If we go back with it, let's see what happens. Oh, we're good to go. Okay, so we have... And now we add the mallow sweet. Is that it? And that's odd. What's happening? Professor Sharp must have... Wait, it's not supposed to... Ah! Get it! Uh oh. Dragon Duck! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I've already brewed one of this, right? The Duras Potion. I need to present my Duras Potion to Professor Sharp. Oh, fuck. Okay, I already got it. I just should have went back to a minute. All right, we'll do another one anyway. And we'll go to Professor Sharp and hand our, hand our potion to him. All right, pick it up. I be good now? the Duras potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh oh. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, Professor. Uh, I was merely trying to help. Let's be honest. Fun. Taking let's responsibility honest. for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say. You've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough okay. excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the wiggle meld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. Mm. Professor Sharp seemed to disagree. I was revealed. Professor Lead. Sharp didn't seem as impressed uh, as you are. Don't take it personally. Go. Professor Sharp wouldn't be impressed by a troll reciting the tales of Beetle the Bard backwards. And in Gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. All right, I'm it. A portrait in our common Seems like a smarty pants. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. So, Lenora, we got a little... Voice message from Lenora. We'll have to go and link up with her, see what she's saying. Is that a statue just talking to me? Oh shit. Yeah, it's looking rough for your boy. I got this hat on because I haven't been able to get a haircut. I'm currently in France and The struggle is real. 
I could go Paris, but that's a two hour drive. I'm not doing that for a haircut. So I'll probably wait till I get back to London. Rebellion. Are we heading back to the corn? You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and... Most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Justice must be served. I'll do Not whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Hmm. I'm picking all the politically the correct magic? answers. Over a hundred years ago, um, trying, to be, to trying to do things to the right precise, way. The stories I could tell you, oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. We'll Can keep prodding and asking some more questions. Can you tell me more Cream about the crop when it comes to auras? A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what okay. I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there soon, I hope. This game is mad. You're talking to pictures, talking to bloody plants. We've got some bad guys down there. Let's fuck them up quickly. What's this, a little camp? I was only following orders. Come on, let's take out this camp. Someone else's direction if you don't. Off the rip. Oh, it's not a camp. has fooled you all. To your demise. Revelio. I thought it was a camp, and it's, it's not. All right. This place has seen better days. Something is leading me here. What is this? Rebellion. All right. Can I climb up? <laughs> What 
was that? I don't understand what I'm meant to be doing. Or if I'm doing it correctly or not. Did you miss a drop down here? Oh. Yeah, maybe. That solves the hand. Okay. Alright, we've got the velvet school robe. We might pull it on just so we look like we are blending back in with school. I think that's more appropriate. <laughs> the little flowers. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Should we turn? Let's turn. Really nice. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the Before we do that, let's unlock. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Warning. <coughs> dog bug sighting. Be careful. What is a dog bug? Excuse me. It's going to be certain did side you say quests something about Bardolph do. Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Hmm, okay. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, Good he question. had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Okay. What if he doesn't want to be found? This is very true, though. What if he doesn't want to be found? Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Okay. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolph was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Right, well, we'll Claire keep an will eye be at her me. shop if you'd like to speak with her. Revelio. For sure, but we're about to collect these coins before we... This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Before we do that. Wait, we can go in there. We're just robbing everybody up in there. What is this? Oh, we're taking their food as well? It's crazy. Alright, let's get back to the main the main quest because I'm getting sidetracked a bit. It's right here, right? Right here, right here, right here. How do we enter? Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Okay, just on the badge, Helen Trisselwood, reflection of former aura. 
Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Mm. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Okay. Anything to see in Azkaban? I'm not sure what I want. I'm not sure I want to visit Azkaban. Azkaban is a dark place, right? It's over. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some, but it can be terribly disconcerting. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Hmm, okay. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Find Black? Find some more info. Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dorn and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jack Dorn's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Hmm, okay. So we're going to Very ask about. Well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Splinched? Do take care now. What does that mean? And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Time traveling to Azkaban. Yeah, it looks dark as hell. Oh, hell yeah. It's dark as fuck. Sure to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. 
It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Oh, she just sent a rabbit to them. Do keep your wits about you. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Anne. She's been here a lot longer than Let's the have a look. Fucking hell, can you imagine being sentenced to do your time down here for life? Absolutely mad. Is that a kid? That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? Oh, the school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would lose. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. I don't have a clue what she's saying. What are you trying to say? That the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Fields! Fields! Ruins! house a vault concealed a vault in some ruins near upper hogsfield mm. i suppose it can't hurt to look can't hurt to look can't hurt to look go find the pages from your book helen helen no you're here come in closer be a dear uh, what is it Anne? Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that bitch is crazy. Your heart. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get. Okay, just like that. But Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jack Daw's cave. Right, guys, that's going to be it. When we get tuned back in to our next episode, we're going to find out what's in that cave because I'm intrigued myself to find out what's in that cave. But yes, thank you for joining in. La, la, la. Thank you for joining in. Um, and I'll catch you a lot in the next one. Peace out. And one love.